my name is Cassidy Ray and you look absolutely gorgeous today. Welcome officially to vlog number one! Dun 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 dun! Hey! So why am I doing vlogs? Good question. I am officially a piano bar entertainer for Carnival Cruise Lines. That's right folks, for the next three months I will be on the Carnival Sensation traveling around the Bahamas and the Caribbean. Life? is good. So I want to share the smiles and the laughs and the adventures that I have all around the sea. So come with me. Ah. In fact, I'm actually so excited. My bags are nowhere near packed. My tickets have been booked kind of ready for a long plane trip. Have you ever been on a really, really long plane trip? Comment down below where you guys went. I'm going to be doing about a 30 hour long haul from Sydney to Miami and I'm kind of a little bit nervous. It's my first time traveling alone to the US. I've traveled all the way to Paris before. I thought I'd share with you my tips of how to prepare for a very long plane trip. Tip number one, pack pajamas. Now I know it sounds kind of weird. I mean, you're just sitting in the one space for like 14 hours. But trust me, having a regular routine, you need that sleep so that you don't suffer really bad jet lag. Putting on the pajamas kind of helps you get into that mindset, I'm going to sleep. It kind of lets other people know how fashionable your clothing choices are, both in the daytime and the nighttime. Just saying. <laughs> Number two, plan ahead. You have 14 hours in a very confined space. Space. It's a long time in just one position. So plan to watch all the new movies, keep books until you actually go on the flight. For me, I've got this book. It's called Present Over Perfect and I cannot wait to read it. I saw it on one of Oprah's Soul Sundays and I fell absolutely in love with the author and her stories. Had it for a month and I cannot wait to read it. I'm saving it for the plane trip. Good new books will really help with that 14 hours. Step number three, stay hydrated. Make sure to drink lots and lots of water. It is the worst thing getting off a plane and feeling so drained and feeling so lethargic. It helps with the fatigue for when you get off the plane. I, personally, this is one of the biggest things for me. I want to get off that plane with my skin feeling good, with my insides feeling even better. I don't want to be tired. Anyway, those are my three top tips for enduring a long plane ride and making it as smooth and as comfortable as possible. But thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to click the like button or click subscribe and stay up to date with this awesome adventure. I can't wait to share more with you. Have a wonderful day. Mwah.